So with virtual reality becoming more mainstream, there's been more and more reports of harassment in VR. So I wanted to get the opinions of actual VR chatters on this topic. Do you experience a lot of harassment in virtual reality? It is my third day and I say I'd, I've already experienced enough of it where I assume it's going to be a decent amount. It's kind of hard to tell because I mean people try to come and touch me. I don't really you know feel it because I'm in a virtual world. If someone came from like grab my nose card, I'd probably be like, oh, you're homo. And like, that's it. Yes and no. It just really depends on the world you go to from what I've seen. Sometimes you'll have an every now and then raid that'll attack random furry worlds, you know? I can't say I directly experience it, but I definitely witness it a lot. Maybe my personality just doesn't attract that kind of, you know, abuse, but looking around, I think it's just a classic case of people taking the, like, the anonymity and fucking distance that they have from each other in this game as, a uh, their filters go away, they don't seem to, like, really respect boundaries as much because they think, oh, it's virtual world it doesn't really matter a lot of people walking up to you and they hear you talk and you know making comments based on the avatar or based on who you're with we're all strangers but if you're a complete stranger there's still a limit it depends on the group usually with younger individuals like you know you get your typical oh like there's a female over there or whatever and then suddenly people are swarming you as long as you're careful and you know what you're doing normally i don't see a lot of that of course i can only say this as someone who's observed never directly experienced this kind of shit but like, it gives me an icky fucking feeling, you know? Like, I need to take a shower or some shit. And to fucking look at me, if I say I need to take a shower, then something's fucking wrong. Do you mind sharing an instance of actually being harassed? Before I came to the drinking night areas, I was going, you know, hopping around different midnight rooftop worlds. And one of them, I went down and I found a group that were chatting and actually kind of interacting with each other. And the moment I said something, one guy comes over and is immediately trying to, like, hit on me, make advances. And I just straight up shut him down and he started getting pretty mad at me. Probably like the first day I joined because I was a woman. <laughs> I guess all the people that have called me MILF and Cougar in the past couple days could be considered that. I'd say the only one that really bothered me was a kid who was trying to get me to go into a private world with him, who I told like, hey, like, you're nice, but I don't really want to, you know, do whatever it is you're trying to do because I'm pretty sure he was underage too. And I got anger in response. Six months ago, I was in there and a bunch of random people just joined and Okay, honestly, they were using clients. So they brought a whole team of people with them using the world ID. And all of them started attacking everybody in the instance, along with crashing multiple people before people actually did something about it. And is that common? I would say if you directly say no to them, they tend to get more mad than if you were to kind of just ignore them or push them to the side a little bit or just straight up block them, you know? I caught the classic, okay, bitch, whatever, fuck you. And it's like, well, you know, I hear a lot of that in real life. Although it doesn't happen, as much I feel like with people closer to my age. It really is a lot of kids on VR chat that are doing all that shit. Do you think sexual harassment in virtual reality is actually considered sexual harassment? And if so, where do you draw the line? Oh, hell yeah, it's it's definitely sexual harassment. If somebody says no, just stop. I do think it is considered sexual harassment because I have been to a club and a man had gone like touching my VR chat boobs and it did not sit right with me. And even I told them to stop and I was like no and they continued if someone is getting something done to them any sort of form of sexually and they're not down that would be sexual harassment even in a virtual world I mean like we can get so up and close with each other and so personal like even though we're not technically near each other it feels like we're near each other so to get in people's personal space like that yeah it's still a violation of their boundaries I think it's drawn at the uh, same thing as it would be in real life like inappropriate touching like cat calling etc cetera, etc cetera, whatever like hey girl like nice ass but then again it's like cat calling can't really be that offensive because they're saying nice ass to the avatar not to you in person you know it's like i'm actually like looking at like your ass in person i'm looking at like an, an animated character yeah i think it is really people want their own space and they don't want to be like guys coming up to them all the time and like this and that fucking all like sexual comments and shit like it's a hard line really i don't know i think uh sexual harassment in vr chat is the same as any sexual harassment you'd get over any other sort of online community in fact i think vr chat is a little bit more personal since they can kind of touch your virtual body in a way like they're trying to invade your personal 
personal space. If you enjoyed what you're watching so far, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your own opinions. Now back to the video. As a prank channel in VRChat where you use scary avatars to scare other people, do you see what you're doing to other people as harassment? Not really, no. I see it as they laugh afterwards, so I see it as entertainment. There might be people out there who might just say, just turn off your headset or block the people who are annoying you. What do you have to say to them? To me, that feels like shifting responsibility to the person being harassed, which it doesn't connect. I don't see why the responsibility should be on the other person to like leave the fucking game entirely. I don't really understand why it can't just be a simple like, hey, I don't want this. And then the other person just fucks off. Like to me, it should be that fucking simple. I don't think it's invalid because it's true. You can, you know, if someone, especially on VR chat, if someone's bothering you, you can block them. But I don't think that's a reason to kind of defend what people are doing. Like just because you have the ability to block someone doesn't mean they should have the ability to harass you. Honestly, blocking them would probably be a good idea, but like, I feel like there could be something more to be done about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why the option's in the game to block people if you don't want them around. As soon as they feel uncomfortable around a person, then just insta-block them. Do you think a personal boundary space is enough in virtual reality? From what I've seen so far, VR chat seems to be relatively good about handling those types of situations with the whole user level thing and with how blocking can affect that. And like, I do think for this game in specific, it probably works as being enough to avoid those people or to have an enjoyable experience while those people are still there. But I think at the end of the day, it is a problem with the people. As of right now, I think VR, um, before we even get into that level of like companies coming in and the law coming into virtual reality and being like, okay, this is wrong or something like that. I think it'll be a few years before that. I think right now everything just kind of freely happens uh, and there's not much things done about it besides like, obviously like if you ask like a VR chat moderator or something somehow, yeah, you're not going to get much justice, I guess, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I can't really say anything on that really. It's just based on the game devs. If they want to add more stuff, they can add more stuff. But if they feel like, like what's in the game right now is enough, then that's it. Yes, absolutely. Personal boundary option in VR chat. Anytime an avatar gets within so many feet from you, they go invisible. Blocking makes them invisible on both ends. So like if I came up and started touching you, you block me. You go invisible for me and I go invisible for you. Problem solved. Like, so like the uncomfortability is like coming from watching someone running their hands all throughout my body. But the moment I block them, they're gone. I don't see them do that. And they also don't see me either so they can't just keep doing it on their end like they're like i'm i'm gone do you think companies need to add more restrictions and limitations to try to prevent harassment or do you think it's more of a social and culture problem in terms of vr i think it's just people kind of complaining about something like i've known friends that have actually been raped like she was like oh i wish that there was a block button i wish there was a button where i could just leave that's not in real life but in here you're given an option if i wanted to pin you down and, like rape you right now i can't because i literally cannot like do anything to you other than just touch you, then if you're like, yo, dude, you're weird, you block me, I'm gone. I definitely think it's more of a people culture problem because as soon as people come online and they have that anonymity, there isn't really any restriction. You know, if they get banned, they can make a new account and come back on. Like, so it's definitely more of a personal issue among people because there's only so much a company can do without negating freedom people have in general. I think it's a social culture problem. I think people claim that, oh, I've been sexually assaulted in VR. Like, I, I don't think they understand the actual grasp concept of what it is compared to real life. If you guys have any suggestions for the types of questions you would like me to ask the people of VRChat, make sure you leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.